Speaking of batteries, fans of electric cars hope that they can be a little more safe than having phones exploding. That's because they're making the cars themselves. Ginger Vaughn reports from San Antonio that do-it-yourself electric cars are something to look out for. This represents the whole frame. Uh, these would be the batteries that just drop into the frame. Uh, and then the seats would go on top. And basically you have a street legal vehicle. For electric kit. car fanatic Gary Christopic, building and designing electric cars is all about the three E's. The environment, the economy, and energy. Electric vehicles benefit everything. They benefit our local environment, the global environment, uh, our local economy and the global in, uh, economy in different ways, uh, and the energy si situation so that United States or other countries be could become energy uh, independent. Uh, and the fuel is actually cheaper, the car will last longer, and in the long run, the electric cars are going to be much cheaper. Chris Topic, an engineer by trade and environmentalist at heart, has been building electric cars for five years. His one-man company, Z-Wheels, strives to create an open-source design for do-it-yourself electric vehicles that cost about $15,000. While the vast terrain of San Antonio, Texas may seem like an unlikely place for a do-it-yourself electric car startup, this model has proved to be fast enough and sturdy enough to handle highways, getting up to 160 kilometers or 100 miles per hour. This car was built in 2008 using computer-aided design and lead-acid batteries. The latest prototype will include lithium batteries, which will get 240 kilometers per charge. He's received input and encouragement from engineers and fans all over the world, all who want to be the first to try his do-it-yourself electric car kit when it's finished. Just drop in the frame, and then you fill the whole frame up like that, and that's 70 pounds for that battery. This one is 7 pounds. This is a new lithium battery. Inspired by documentary, Who Killed the Electric Car?, Chris Topic says it's all about choice. People need to realize that these are here, they're technically feasible, they're wonderful, they're fun to drive, they're simple, uh, and they solve a lot of our problems. Better technology and prefabricated materials have lowered cost of these green machines significantly. And this engineer says it's only a matter of time before drivers make the switch. Ginger Vaughn, CCTV, San Antonio, Texas.